Hi, my name is Kanisha Robinson and I am a sophomore at the University of Arkansas. The piece of artwork that I will be presenting is the statue of the Little Rock Nine called Testaments, which is located in Little Rock, Arkansas. These nine statues were sculpted by John and Kathy Deering. The artwork includes nine life-size statues of the nine students. The statues are made out of pure bronze. They hold a certain composition to where they are arranged closely to look like they are marching into the school together. They also include rough and textile textures, which help insinuate clothing and facial features to appear more realistic. The sculptures represent nationalistic methodology. As long as the statues are standing, they will forever represent the struggle for equality amongst African Americans. Each student's posture is designed in a way that captures their personalities. For example, broad shoulders with heads held high represented dignity. This dignity not only stands for the non-students, but also for all African Americans who stood once for justice. The sculpture can be considered to model the ancient Greek classical style. Classical styles in ancient Greek focused on posture. The posture and standings of the sculptures were used to symbolize heroic figures. The statues from the Little Rock Nine sculpture held the same heroic posture. The way their heads were raised and shoulders were broadened symbolized courage. The artists from this time period also began to make sculptures out of bronze, which is also the same material that the statues are made out of. A good example of how composition can give meaning is the sculpture of Poseidon or Zeus. His perfectly balanced stance and sharp focus symbolizes strength and certainty. I chose this piece of art because it was very personal to my life. I attended Little Rock Central High, therefore not only will I always have Tiger Pride, but attending this school gave me a chance to observe its history up close and appreciate it even more. Being an African American myself and being able to sit and learn in the same classrooms that years ago these non-African Americans fought to sit in creates an overwhelming and prideful feeling. I am proud to say that I can live to see the day of a world of equality that many of my ancestors did not believe would ever come to existence. Looking at the sculptures of the Little Rock Nine reminds me that you do not have to be a big political figure to make a difference. The nine children thirsted for a better education, even if it meant being an outcast. This shows that in order to make a difference, all you need is the motives and determination to succeed.